Alright. Hello and welcome back to Scylla Plays the Forgotten City. So, today we are starting in the middle of the palace run. Well, hopefully towards the end. <laughs> um, so, content warning. This one is going to have some real horror in it. If you don't do zombie-like things, if you don't do creepy shenanigans, maybe come back in like a 20 minutes and see where we are. Um, for those of you who were watching the last stream and saw me get frustrated towards the end by a little combat scene, um, I did figure out what went wrong. I was using the wooden bow, not the golden one. I have no idea how I made it through that. <laughs> but I did catch us up. We're back to the last room that we had cleared and ready to go. So do feel free to say hi in chat. I love to have your input. And uh, let's uh, see where this takes us, shall we? All right, making sure I have the golden bow this time. All right. So, back out on the palace balcony, and oh, we have a sucker right here. Let's see if we can... Nope, it's gonna take a few shots. Oh, go away, go away. Get far enough back that I can shoot you. Alright, there we go. Alright. <laughs> Healed statues. How does Naiwi have time for all this? I mean, I know it's been a few months, but jeez. Like, especially because this is where she was standing when we saw her, so what? <laughs> I do like, you know, you can see where the arrow hits even the porphyry, it turns it a little splash of it to gold. Oh, that is... That is unfortunate looking. And there's gold and blood smeared there, so... Maybe this is real recent. Oh, shit. Get back. Come on, aim at it. Go. Are there more of you suckers in here? Oh, there is one currently on a rack. That is so disturbing. Alright, because we saw Naiwi's medical racks last time. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, I kind of feel like this lady here. Like, oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and not not let that guy wake up, shall we? Flipping horrific. Another one over there? I kinda can't tell. No, it appears to be an unpeeled statue. God. Nightwing, you're so sick. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh, I do not like this. Oh, I do not like this. Oh god. Okay, four meters, it says. What am I looking at? Half peeled statue. 
It says closer. Oh, heck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, Kiki. Yeah, I hate it too. So, um... Ooh, ah. We have these butterflies, which, to my mind, signal that Proserpina is nearby, so that may be her speaking to us, but, uh... I don't know. You! Who are you? Oh shit, that's not good. Uh, hi Nywea! Dun dun dun! And you must be the wretched snake who broke into my palace and disturbed my experiments. And worst of all, look at what you made me do to her. This never would have happened if you just stayed away. You're going to pay for that. Well, oh, that's some um, classic uh, abuser projection. Look what you made me do. Oh boy. You think that's Galatea up there? And you think I care about that? I don't care what happens to me, as long as you get what you deserve. Liar! I locked and barred the gate. I left a message warning you all to leave me alone. I just wanted to do my experiments in peace for her. And now look at her. You made me turn the most beautiful woman I've ever seen into this. Look at her. She's in agony. All I wanted was to spend my last moments with her. To see her beautiful face, to hear her speak freely, instead of in those cryptic whispers. But as soon as I began my work, she stopped whispering to me. And now I discover she started whispering to you instead. What's so special about you? Oh, jealousy, is it? Woohoo! What do you mean, the same voice? Hmm. Yes. I remember when they used to whisper to me. They did sound similar. I just thought it was because all voices sound the same when they whisper. But now that I think about it, they were all benevolent and seemed to share a common knowledge. But if these bodies are mere conduits for that one voice, then this body is nobody. And... Everything I've done here was... was... Wait, I see what you're doing. You're trying to steal her away from me. Were you planning to wait until I'd done all the hard work, then swoop in? Is that it? Okay, so... <laughs> here we have actually a pretty classic example of uh, how people talk themselves into believing things when there's extra evidence against it. Not a lot of good choices here, Kiki says. Indeed. Liar! You tried to steal her away from me, and now look what you made me do. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't peel you too. So we could fight her. Somehow that doesn't seem like a great idea. What? What are you talking about? Wait. So you're saying you weren't coming for us? Not everything is about you, bitch. So I did all this. I ruined her. For nothing. What have I done? Oh god, I feel sick. I am... I can't bear the thought of her being like this. And in so much pain. It's the air coming into contact with her flesh. It's agonizing for them. But the only way to fix it 
will be to break the golden rule and let it run its course. At least that way she'd be golden again and we'd be together. All it would take is one. That's not promising. Okay. Yeah. How about this? <laughs> it's too late. There's nothing you can do. I have to do this. I'm sorry. What? How? Oh, maybe it is promising. Really? I, I'm not sure I believe you. But if you can undo this mess, I'll tell you what you need to know. But if you're lying to me, I'll break the golden rule and kill you and everyone else in this city. Understood? It is real tempting to shoot her, but I kind of think that would break the rule. I wonder what she says. Nothing. Covered in gold. You did it. You took away oh, her hey. pain. She I don't actually know what to say. kept Thank that you. part of her bargain. Thank you. Will she I kill me now? I will never harm her again. I swear it. I'll stay here to keep her company. But these poor souls, what can be done for them? I've tried everything I can. I fear the only one capable of releasing them properly is whichever god doomed them in the first place. In any case, I must honor our bargain. The treatment for rheumatism is willow bark. I believe there's a part of it already in the Shrine I of Apollo. I literally could now, have told you that. please leave. Like, this is the, the leads out onto prescribing the aspirin. <laughs> you should be able to make your way down from there. Go. And never return. Happily. I would be happy to never come back here again. Whew, this place mainly creepy because of you. All right, let's let's get out of here. Oh. Outdoors. Look at it. We're outdoors. We can leave. There's even a zip line. How? I guess Galerius must have done this before the place was closed? You know what? I'm not gonna argue. Let's just leave. Oh. Okay. Well then. Hey Lucretia. May Apollo keep you safe. Feeling all right? I talked to Nywea. You made it into the palace. I'm impressed. How is Nivea? That's not what I was gonna say, but uh I don't actually have a choice, so Willow back. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. That's not actually very finely cut. You kind of need to grind it up. But whatever. <laughs> uh. Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. That's a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Okay. So. Hey, Decius. Hey. Scumbag. You over here? Ah. 
Uh oh, if they're in the... Okay, they're not here for the vote yet, that's good. Where in the heck is... Decius then? Well... Make my way over to Rufius. Oh. Oops, we wound up next to Ixian again. Hi, Ixian. Oh, I did actually... Oh, sorry, I missed Equitia. Um... Yeah, maybe I should have gone and talked to Equitia. Let's see. I wonder if she's still there. I did look up the Belly Days. Apparently that is a another name for the Danaids, which I do actually know who they are. Um were uh, 50 sisters promised to marry 50 brothers and uh, they did not wish to so when they were forced to 49 out of 50 killed their husbands on their wedding night and as punishment for killing their husbands they were made to eternally attempt to bring water in a sieve all right so what is Equitia up to Priestess. A new face. Our race. Ah, she doesn't know us this time. We you. haven't talked to her in a bit. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Well, uh, I beg your pardon. Well, oh my, that is quite a lot to take in. You'll have to give me a moment. She's Let's not see. quite as genre savvy if as uh, Galerius. I suppose we'd better figure out what to do about it, hadn't we? We don't have much to go on, except the old stories. I remember four in particular about heroes in the underworld. Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet. Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra. And Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Hercules was able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus both relied on their wits instead. They persuaded the goddess of the underworld, Proserpina, to help them escape. And finally, Aeneas was able to escape with the help of a spirit guide, who led him through a secret gate. So it seems you have two options. To confront the god of the underworld head on, or find a way to escape with the help of Proserpina or some other guide. I believe we've gotten all this information before, so I'm not particularly sure why we were uh, May Fortuna guide directed you. this way. I believe I was heading to the slums. What's this? Oh! Interesting. This woman is kitted out like an archer. That's interesting looks more like a statue of Diana than the statue of Diana does. With the, uh, the short kiton and the, uh, the arm bracers. How strange. We could move her aside and go in the store. What do you think? Let's do it. Come on, move. Okay, it lets me move all the other statues, but not this one? Okay, fine. Maybe there's some plot thing that will let me move it. Alright. There it is. Horatius? Looking a bit troubled there. Still no sign of Centilla. I haven't slept right three weeks. I believe I we already hard uh, heard this conversation. From what I hear, nobody saw it coming. Anyway, I thought you Stoics weren't supposed to worry about things you can't control. Yeah, but I 
keep thinking. What if there is something I can do? What if she's out there somewhere, suffering, waiting to be found? What if I go like peek in everybody's shot. room? Okay, Leave this is Galerius's room. Get some rest. Oh yeah. A new day. He's such a cinnamon roll. Galerius? Horatius? Looking a bit troubled there. Starting conversation over. I don't remember if I talked about this type of fountain before, but these are super duper common um, all throughout Roman architecture, uh, really all over the, the Mediterranean. I, I don't recognize this particular fountainhead, but this style with the large basin and the uh, spout as a face. Pretty common. 49 melodies fetch a game with incessant labor. It's all up to me, is it, Whisper? Model arena? Oh. Aw, this must be Virgil's room. So... So this is not the Colosseum. It's uh, the wrong shape. The archaeology insight tells me that it's probably the arena of Verona, which is still in use today. That's pretty cool. Interesting in Virgil's chest. Nah. And Horatius, looking a bit troubled there. Upstairs. I don't need to harm yourself. From what I hear, nobody's going to come. Anyway, I thought you Stoics weren't supposed to. I'm gonna guess this used to be Dooley's room with the crude doll. I wish I could take it to him. Probably like having it. What if she's out there somewhere, suffering, waiting to be found? Sounds like you're torturing yourself. Leave that for the gods. Try to relax. Get some rest. Tomorrow's. Who wants to have that in their hallway? Okay, we got surgical tools. Is this Lucretia's room? No, this is Nywia's old room. Oh boy. A key to the Shrine of Apollo. I'll take that. Okay. This is Livia's room. Not much to it. <laughs> Using this one to hold a jug. That seems... That seems fairly likely, honestly. Huh, little lararium even up here. Home is uh, where you put your stuff, I guess. Okay, this is Lucretia's room. She has a nice room, comparatively. Some garum. Some more herbs. A bit troubled there. Still no sense slept right three weeks. I don't be too hard on yourself. Garum. Oh, this must be soldier's anyway, room. You Here's the uh, the classic scutum. Yeah. And uh I keep thinking. What if there Legion, is something like Legion there? Italica banner, so what this is from Horatius's room. Waiting to be Sounds like you're torturing yourself. Uh, Leave that for the gods. Uh, his cavalry helmet. Tomorrow's a new day. I suppose so. I right. guess the guys are over here. Yeah. Nobody using this room. Yipes. This would probably be my room if uh ooh, hi, yes. Yes, you are you are in there. I see that. So Oh, I have a carving. 
and a, a very different face. I mean, this, this sort of geometric style could really be a lot of different things, but I'm guessing from context, and Kiki, back me up here if you know, that this is Egyptian. A note from Kabash. Kabash to Kabash! I told Lucretia about the dreams I've been having, and she said it might help her divine their meaning if I wrote them down. It happened again last night. The man by the river was there. Remember, uh... He, he called him Kerti, if, uh, if Equitia was correct. Uh, his face shrouded in shadow from that peculiar ram headdress. Once again, he introduced himself as, as Kerti, if I just keep reading, and told me he'd drag me from the river. He seemed to smirk as he said his name, as if it meant something I couldn't understand. Indeed, the name rings a bell, but I cannot for the life of me remember where I heard it. I do not think I will sleep soundly again until I know. Who is Kerti? Kerti, of course, being an Egyptian psychopomp with a ram's head. So, um, so interesting. He's been having dreams of some portent. But he is gone. And yes, Kiki says, yes, that is an Egyptian vase. Uh, this one. Oh, that's interesting. This also is giving me non-Roman vibes for sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. We've got what appears to be an Egyptian barge. And... Uh, I can't quite tell, but it might be a dog. It's not, not familiar with Egyptian stuff as much. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a river bank, or possibly the Great Snake. Um, okay, so that was Kerti's room. Got some more stuff over here. Who keeps one of these guys in their bedroom? Ugh, especially when they do that. Ah. A Roman phallic symbol. These uh, phallic charms thought by the Romans to have divine protective properties. Indeed. Indeed they do. Um, if you've ever played Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you'll have seen these these big uh, columns around with like a, a man's head on top. For some reason, I just I can't understand why the most important part of those warding statues, the Herms, is just not there in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. What happened to their giant dicks? What happened? Um, but yes, uh, phallic symbols and, and large phalloi are commonly used as uh, symbols of protection. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> Kiki says Alcibiades. Yes, uh, quite possibly Alcibiades. <laughs> For knocking off dicks. Um, there was a, a story that the Athenian general Alcibiades was going around Athens knocking all of the dicks off the Herms, and he was exiled for this. It, it really gotta love Greek history. Um... So this little fish token, which it says here seems to be religious in nature, I honestly, th I'm playing an archaeologist, anything I don't know what it is, just assume it's religious, it's a ritual thing. But no, uh, specifically here we have a, a fish, a uh, fish token, which is an early Christian symbol. Um, you might see the Jesus fish bumper, well not stickers, but icons everywhere. So that is an honest-to-goodness uh, Christian symbol, and one that may or may not be recognized by those around him. So this is Rufius's room. So Rufius is one of our <gasps> evil cultists. <laughs> so what's in Rufius's chest? Just a few denarii. Uh, like, no wonder he is so cranky all the time. He has these statues looking out at him all the time. What's his deal? 
Oh, I guess we found who found out who's harassing Virgil. Rude. Rude, Rufius. Incredibly rude. Have we gone in everybody's room yet? I think we might have. Okay. Rufius, are you still chilling down here? Cerberus is his triple head. Looking a bit troubled and there. And lets out his three oh, folds of praying. Oh, is this the only view we're gonna get of him? This is terrible. Anyway, I thought you Stoics weren't supposed to worry about things you can't control. Okay, so let's just start off by making his move better. What if she's out there somewhere, we'll somewhere by. waiting to be found? And this will work? Sounds like you're torturing me. Oh, thank Leave that God. God. Take your dang aspirin. Some relief. This is what I don't just, for. for the viewers at home, don't as just as grind up willow bark and eat it. If you're out of aspirin, it can actually thank be dangerous you. if you don't know the dosage. I've been in a lot of pain lately. The rheumatism is... Cursed statues always watching in the crisis of faith. It was too much. Started messing with my head. This is exactly what I needed to set it straight again. I owe you one. He moved those statues out of your room. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> My dude, indeed. No, I don't. I did hear a rumor that Aurelia, the tavern keeper, has been offering to sell a way out. But I barely have two sistersi to rub together. I mean, I think you had like 11 in there, but... You know, no argument. Don't take it. Hmm. I'll tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. <laughs> Tells you how recent this game is, huh? <laughs> ah, then you know what I'm talking about. I mean, all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. Well, we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last oh, crap. of the people who lived here. No. Relaxing the old to start the Oh, heck. Well, that's no good. I guess I can poke around a little bit more before I... Oh my god. I didn't know they had this in here! It's a dice tower! <laughs> yes, gamer friends and classics friends alike, here it is. The ancient Roman dice tower. This is a real thing. Although the inscription Wenny Weedy Weeky is not on the actual object. They did actually use dice for their games and randomization and they played a number of different games. And, oh my god, look at these little dice! I love them! I love them so much! Ah, oh, That's so cool! Okay, um, I was actually coming over here to see... Ex hinquia sola est. There's only one way out. Well, we'll see about that. Um, unfortunately, you, Tantalus cannot catch the drops of water and the tree. Runs. Unfortunately, we uh, know that the election is on, and that is not going to go well. So we should probably just, you know, kind of anticipate that. Although it does, it does take a while, so I might, I might see if I can grab some more coins on my way out. Eh, can't see. Where am I? Oh, I already went through here. Crud. Well, 
Well, Proserpina, it's gonna take at least one more loop. I'll tell you that much. Oh boy. Well, now we know several of our little plot threads. We can help Yulia, we can help Fabia, we can help Nywia. Well, not Nywia. We can help Lucretia, really. Um, and Rufius. And we can go tell Virgil what's up with the, you know, yikes. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe, maybe the next go through we can see about getting Galerius elected. Oh boy, this really does take a while, doesn't it? I'm gonna have a look in my inventory. Oh. I do have about 500 denarii. An inscribed. Oh, that's. Sal's note. Oh, the citizen register. Have I met everyone on here yet? Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, Hannibal and Kabash. Who knows? Yep. Oh, I didn't mean to exit my uh, inventory. I wanted to look at what else I have. Wow, I have 72 arrows. Doing pretty well. The last time when I, when I previewed the palace run, because I knew I was going to want to do that, I made it out of there with one arrow for the final scene. It was a bit nerve-wracking. What? Why do I have goose eggs? Alright, well, several keys. do put it through the whole scene every time with the whole like arguments and everybody saying you know don't break the rule and equitia protesting but at some point you know I think that time does essentially stop for that when you're in some place you can't just get out of, like the palace. Because I can't imagine <laughs> what would happen if you're in the middle of the palace and suddenly, you know, like, all shall suffer. Like, uh, well, I already was, so. <laughs> oh, there we go. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. see what happens with Sentius. I don't I don't know if I've shown you this before, but it is super creepy. You can't talk to him though. Just holy skeleton, Batman. Let's uh get out of here, shall we? Yikes. Okay, <laughs> so here we are, back at the start of the day. Uh, 
Here's our friend Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? All right. So they can see that we have a bow. Sometimes. Kind of funny nobody's told us to throw it away yet. Oh, that sounds serious. I'm listening. So we can ask him to do any of these things. Um, this seems like the most urgent. Julia. Oh no. All right, I can do that. We can, in fact, ask him to do all of these things. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. And uh, yeah, why don't you take care of this Poor too? Guy. My uncle was a victim at rheumatism's altar. And he ended up killing himself. Ouch. All right, got it. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. That is a lot of things that we can have him do. That is actually very nice. I'm still gonna go and get more money, because it's always useful. I always do that. There was also money up here, yeah. Huh? If I recall correctly. Oh, hey. We can get out there now. So that's the wooden bow. We do not use the wooden bow. <laughs> Just don't fall. Nice. Random. But nice. We can talk Ulpius down and just just as a note for anyone joining us host zombie run there is going to be some discussion of suicide if not depiction so be warned Hello, Octavia. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the Golden Rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? I really do need to talk to all Alright, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. No, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Ulpius. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Yeah, so I've noticed that it's playing the music, the same music we got in the palace for this. 
Uh, despite the fact that we've already been through this once before and know that it will not end in the golden rule being broken. But, uh... I mean... I would... I would really like him not to... not to fall. I don't know, but it's a crime for slaves to take their own lives. And a debt bondsman isn't far off. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. Well, if I can. So, since we heard him say that Centilla was his love, we can act on that, apparently. Let's see if that works. You know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. Well, if you say so. Apparently, we don't, we don't have the option to let him be shot. I don't want to any. hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. It's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact, and she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. That's if I true. Out we now, heard that I'd from Yulia. Betraying her. I can't do that. Fortunately, we have a plan. Oh, really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. No. No. Time's up. Uh -oh. I am out. Wherever you are. Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Olpius, no! Well. That sucks. I can't believe he went through with it. I, oh lord. That poor lamb. Was that, that my was fault? not your fault. There's no way you could have given him what he wanted moments after you arrived. Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the Golden Rule. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it, it isn't mine. Yeah. The scene just never stops being sad. I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Why didn't you help Ulpius? Rude. So yeah, we can see straight down into Maliolus' villa from here. And apparently there's some form of heat warping in the graphics? I don't know, that is strange looking. Oh no, it's a pool. That's right. Um, we can actually jump down after him and land in the water instead of on the tiles, but let's not, shall we? So this is the famed obelisk. Um, we have some interesting reliefs up here. I think they look made for the game. Kiki, correct me if you recognize these. Oh, hello. Well, this side is certainly Egyptian. And that looks an awful lot like Osiris to me. really hard to tell, but that looks near eastern to me. Hittite, maybe? Oh, I don't know. So 
So these are presumably Roman and Greek depictions. Um, yeah, definitely. Kiki says this this side definitely from A and E, uh, the ancient Near East. So familiar. Uh, yeah, yeah. The winged figure is Ashtart Astarte. I don't know what the deal with the two columns is. It almost reminds me of Samson, but I know that they're not dealing with that. That would presumably be the next iteration of this place. Here is the great temple door. Oh, there's some graffiti on it. Komodo hok nito non transibimusi nom praecepta skiremus ne. How can we pass this test if we don't know the rules? I don't think I would have used Transira for that, but hey, it's not bad. She weeps where water flows, all that. Sisyphus rolling his boulder down here. We have not actually seen anything that was uniquely the Danaids yet. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Let's, uh, let's skip a little bit. This must be the front of the palace. And the wind is weathering up here. There's a chest. Alright. Yes, hello, statue. So how are we for Denari at this point? Definitely not 2,000. the palace facade with that lovely archwork. A bit of a, a Greek looking temple front. But oh, another chest. What's in here? Arrows. Let's take over that. Ah, that's where we left from. Oh, and we could we could get back there. I I don't really want to, thanks. A lovely fountain. Oops. Producing fresh water coming from the aqueduct. Yes, we've had more or less that conversation. Yeah. I see. Here's a sieve. So we have one of the Danaids. All right then. So, wanted to continue my conversation with Rufus. Rufius, sorry, wherever he wound up. Are you Rufius? You are. Name's Rufius. 
with a watcher step. All right. Now we get to talk to him face to face instead of talking to the top of his head. Tell you this much. Let's finish this line I hate of conversation, the fact shall my we? My survival depends on the common sense of other people. Let's see what he says when we say this. All these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. Well, we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits, it's everyone for themselves. You've been warned. Oh. Maybe he's taking those uh, golden statues in his room as memento mori. After all, Rome was a culture that was very... oriented towards remember that you will die. I don't know. That's where we get it. But did you ever get the feeling some of these statues are watching us when we're not looking? Like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. Even when I am looking. That doesn't help me. No. <laughs> no, it shouldn't. No idea what you're talking about? Come on, man. <sighs> Look, I... I haven't been at my best lately. I know that. It's the rheumatism. It starts with constant pain in all your joints. Then the pain starts to mess with your head. Makes you angry. Mean. I know that's not an excuse for how I acted. But it's the truth. But with the willow bark, I'm already starting to feel like myself again. I'll leave him alone from now on. It's not as if I was ever going to hurt him anyway. I was just lashing out. I'm going to go and clean up the graffiti. Just forget this ever happened, will you? I mean, it's it's definitely true that pain can really screw with you. Um, but if only all trolls were this evil, easily solved, right? And we had a few more things to ask him. Ah, uh, you again. Yep, me again. Sentius, military man, knows what he's doing. All right. No. <laughs> he is blunt. No idea what you're talking about. Come on. What? That was Galerius, not you. <laughs> oh. He got that from you? I you said you only one. Then. Right. He doesn't remember <laughs> that. I think I have seen that plaque. Sorry I lied. Can't be too careful these days. Head into the caves behind the theater. Turn right, then right again. Oh, and here. You'll need this key. I'm getting a lot of keys. You didn't get that from me. See you around. Let's, uh, go talk to Virgil. Let him know he's, uh... Gonna have some help scrubbing that off. Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's life. I'm glad you arrived when you did. What demon or spirit told you about that? I would like to be gentler than this, honestly, but okay. He went snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. 
Have you spoken to him about it? Really? How did you manage that? Like, really? I don't, I, I don't really want to go around sharing his medical history, but apparently that's what we're doing now. Ah, uh, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. Fortunately, well Virgil for figuring that also out. is a big sin. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. Nice to talk to you. Decius. Hey, you. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff, I bet it's worth a fortune. Jerk. Hello there, friend. May I say, that is a glorious bow you're carrying. Do you mind if I ask where you acquired it? Yeah, screw you. Uh, are you well, stranger? Have you been out in the sun too long? You seem a little... confused? Perhaps you should go and see Lucretia in a clinic. You mean, how did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. <sighs> I do want to know. All right. Well, you see, I'm in the business of procuring rare and precious objects liberated from the enemies of Rome. Mostly Figures. sculptures, vases, the occasional slave, fetch a magnificent price in Roman high society, had myself a nice little shop in Rome, just off the Forum. Lots of foot traffic and close to the docks. Good place to be when the fires broke out. See, about seven months ago, half of Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river, open to escape by barge. So I gathered my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, pretty young thing named a camphor, push it for me. All the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't legged it with my valuables. But, to my surprise, we make it, and I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But the captain's happy to take my coin, so I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest and he says, No, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. I... I already know the answer to this. Yeah. <laughs> Kiki says, barf. Yeah, that's right. Uh. The girl? Weren't you listening? All my valuables oh. for the girl. I mean, I can always buy a new slave girl if I still have oh, my money. Geez. So I put me hand on the car, and I guess you realised what was happening because those pretty black eyes of hers go all wide. And in one swift motion, she topples a whole bloody thing into the Tiber. Naturally, I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. Only, I guess I must have hit my head or something, because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank, not far from here, with nothing in the world but a single silver coin. Yeah, screw you. I couldn't agree more. I mean, sure, I'd lost a few thousand denarii, but I've already made it back, and this place is a veritable treasure trove. Look around you. There must be more gold in here than in the treasury of Rome. If I can just figure out how to get it out of here. Smugglers. You know, antiquity smuggling in the modern day is a really big problem. Um, basically every time that there is a disaster anywhere... Uh, you know, especially in the ancient, like, Mediterranean area. Anywhere anywhere there are ruins or, you know, really old things that people would want to see in a museum. People just go in and loot. And this guy sounds like that's what he was doing even in ancient times. What a scumbag. And just in case you didn't remember how slaves were treated, right? God. Terrible. I'm afraid not. If you're desperate, I did hear that Aurelia down at the tavern claims to know of a way out, but I'm not sure I trust her. Some people here are a little shady for my liking. <laughs> yeah, gotta watch out. Old Dacius has got your back, though. Oh, Deacy is telling me somebody else is not trustworthy. And being right, too. That's... Wow. It's terrible for inflation, is what it is. There's so much gold just lying around, it's practically worthless. At least down here. 
Maliolus. I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? That's a surprisingly decent reason, given everything else about this guy. <laughs> Not going to happen. Very well. Another time. Screw you. Oh. oh, I hate that guy. Okay. Um. All right. Well, perhaps that's actually a good place to end for today. We can pick back up with whatever next task we decide. The priestess, the priestess. Well, not today. <laughs> game recognizes game, yes indeed. Um, well, thank you so much for watching and for having watched to this point. I'm afraid to say that, uh, unfortunately, just due to some stuff in my personal life, I will not be around to stream for the next three weekends. Uh, not that I'll be far away, um, if you have any comments you want to throw out there. Um, or if you just started and want to go back and watch the rest of the streams, this is a good time to catch up. Uh, but I will be moving, and so when we come back in May, we'll have a brand new setup. Uh, I hope that uh, you have a really good April, and thanks so much for watching. Bye now.